Okay, my name is Josie, I'm from Germany, and I study a master's degree in human security here at Aarhus University. Uh, hi, my name is Kim, uh, I'm originally from Vietnam, and I'm studying Master of Finance and International Business right here at BNS, uh, Aarhus University. And we're going to tell us a little bit about our experience with student life in Aarhus. Um, yeah, as you can see, this is um, already one of the pictures from the campus. Um, if you go on the back side of this building, maybe if you do the campus tour later, you'll see it today with the great weather. You're really lucky with that. <laughs> um, yeah, and some more pictures of the campus. Um, yeah, when I first came over here, I was totally impressed uh, about the campus itself because it was so huge and all the facility is very modern and uh, they use the latest technology for the classroom and everything else. Um, you, as you can see over here, there are some campus um, uh, because the university is so big, so they have many uh, campuses for different schools. So over here was this University Parkland, which is the biggest one. And then they have a Nova Parkland, which is down here for some communication study. Uh, here is a picture for business school where I'm studying at now. And that's just a fan. So the upper part of this Moscow campus is actually the least known one because it's in the south of the city. It's a little far actually, but it's really very, very pretty because it's located among, uh, in a forest and next to a very awesome modern museum about um, um, anthropology and archae um, no, what is it about actually? <laughs> it's really interesting. It's about like um, the history of, of um, like Middle Asia and stuff. Um, and it's very close to the seaside, actually. So in 15 minutes, you can walk to the, to the sea after class, which is really awesome. And it's very um, cozy and nice campus because it's so small. Yeah. So once you come over, you will know why Aarhus University was actually ranked as one of the most beautiful university uh, in the world in 2013 and 14. So um, yeah, you will definitely have a good time over here. And yeah, here's some pictures of the classrooms and uh, study rooms and, and yeah, so you can see it's very, very modern and, and latest technology. It's really awesome. The good things about Aarhus University is that they have a lot of space um, and you can find all the kind of facilities uh, that are um, equipped for your study basically. So you have all the, um, for example, like at BNS, we have a huge library and then we have a lot of quiet reading rooms as well. Besides, we have a lot of other open space where you can sit down and study and do discussion with your group anytime you want. Uh, in terms of the lecture hall, um, you have all different kind of lecture hall. They have from auditorium to lecture hall to up to 400 plus students. And then they have a small classroom as well for um, some other smaller size class. Um, so all you need to do is just basically study because the rest of that will be well taken care of. Yeah, and here are some more examples of the libraries. Um, that one is in the States Library, just across the street. It's very nice, and the reading room is there too. Um, so you see you have a silent area, and you have also group areas where you can meet. And it's, uh, they even have a massage chair there and a piano for your distraction <laughs> during studies. Um, and actually, this one, no, but the other libraries are over, um, open for 24 hours. So you can really, like, if you want to study, you can study hard. <laughs> Um, yeah, but it's not only about studying. <laughs> you have, there's also a lot of uh, things to do in your spare time. Most importantly probably is partying. Um, maybe on the right side you can probably recognize the room that you're sitting in. Um, it's not only for lectures or for presentations like that, but also for parties and concerts. Um, at least twice or three times a month you can um, go to different concerts from different groups, rock groups, local um, music bands, and that's always a very nice thing also to experience um, the like, music culture of the, of, the, of the area. Yeah, and on the right, on the left, you can see again what Gita was talking about, um, this festival in, in the summer that we're all excited about now. We've been told a lot about it, and yeah, that is very nice. Um, and it's not only necessary that you have to go to the party, um, organize with other people, you yourself can organize or host your own party at home. It's very common over here for you to actually invite friends over to your place and then you have your own party um, and your, well, in local world they call it hooker time, which is that you have a so-called look like a five-star restaurant um, dinner at your own home with candles, red light, uh, 
um, uh, red wine and uh, just you know just have fun and after that it's we call it that a time for us to warm up before we get drunk and then go to go to the other places for the party. Um, beside the part for the party that um, uh, Josephine is mentioning, at right here is a very uh, um, location. Every Tuesday they have something called International Night, where a student house actually organized that um, uh, evening for local. Danish student and international student to get to know each other. So just grab a drink and then to make more friends. Um, and uh, besides that, every single school they have their own Friday bar. Like at BS, we have the famous club <coughs> underground. Uh, and every single Friday we have party and uh, yeah, uh, get a drink. It's very um, well. A lot of people are saying that dance are very close and it's very hard for you to get to know them. That is not true because the moment when you give them a drink, they are super open and friendly, <laughs> <laughs> and that is the considered as the easiest way for you to get to know the local and make friends over here. I was totally surprised because um, when I came to the class, the student over here they are very focused on their studies, so you look at them and you can think that it's very hard to approach them. But after the study time, after the lecture, and then you grab a drink together, they start talking a lot to you, very open, share a lot. Uh, and, and that's how I learn about local culture. I learn a lot about the teams and how to live and how to adapt to the local life over here. Yeah, and the Friday bus, you can, <clears throat> you can find what every faculty has in every Friday, so you can really go out and meet your fellow students and also meet students from other faculties, and it's really nice and cozy. And they start pretty early, so you can basically go there after class. Um, then there are a lot of student associations you can join that also are in English, um, which is very nice. There's, for example, um, we're in the YGA program, that is the Youth Google Ambassador program. That means we are kind of representing the university, like right now, for the uh, to the international other students from other universities um, and also in our own countries. And we have a lot of like networking making me meetings also with other universities in Denmark. That is a very nice thing. Um, then there's Doc Lounge where you can help to uh, screening, um, they are screening different documentaries every month, so that is a very nice thing. There's a UN, um, United Nations simulation, a student radio called The Jungle in English. Um, the other ones you have to present them. <laughs> yes. uh, and there are even a lot more student association and club for you to join over here. These are just some examples. In the YGA program, besides the networking event or um, activities that um, Josephine just mentioned, uh, we have a lot of workshops where you can actually participate and register. And in those workshops, they teach you a lot about culture, how to get to know dance, how to talk with people over here, what are the common norms and you know, like uh, certain behavior that you should be aware of, for example. And also, like yesterday, I attended an event and they teach us how to uh, actually uh, get into the um, local workforce, how to apply for a job over here, uh, practice certain uh, interview skill and everything. And I think last year they have a national conference in Copenhagen where they sponsor you to go to Copenhagen and attend a certain workshop um, and uh, the program over here. There, So it's very inspiring and you learn a lot. Uh, and at the same time, you make a lot of new friends as well. Some other activities that you can join, which is ISAC, which is a student association, is international where um, uh, it's also more to practice, uh, to, to teach you about professional skill. Um, and in this organization, you have your own role. For example, I currently am holding a corporate branding and business relation manager role. So basically, I have to lie with different business over here to arrange internship for international students in our host here. So that is somehow, that's somehow even in case you cannot have a student job, you can still get your professional skill through these activities. Uh, student Laureage, they organize different activities for different schools. And here you can see Student House. Um, you can be a part of that by sign up as a volunteer and they have different scheme. When they, um, you, you start with a bar and then you go join different group. And that's how you get to know other students. Uh, so um, I think Aarhus really deserves the name as a city for the student or student city because over here, um, um, I think last year they welcomed like more than 12,000 students uh, over the last semester and that actually make the, university, uh, the, the city is a very um, 
lively and uh, with the student we have a lot of activity as well and um, the most important thing is that our host is very international I must say um, I, I, I study and stay in Singapore before coming here Singapore is very international as well but here right in the campus even if you talk with the local then they also have an international mind um, uh, and, and in that way they are very open and they have a very strong international student community over here as well. So you always have someone to talk to, people are very friendly over here, and you will never feel alone. So I, I myself personally encourage you to join as many student associations as possible to, to open your network and gain your experience. Yeah, so you're, you're not gonna get bored, that's for sure. Um, yeah, you can also do sports, uh, it's very, popular in Denmark to join a, join a sports club or go to the fitness actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, here you can see some examples of, of possibilities of sport and as it's located in a very pretty area, there's also a lot to do also outdoors when the weather is nice. And there's also a lot of cultural things to do. Um, as at that one uh, on the low, lower left side is um, the museum down in the south, close to the other campus. Um, it's a very modern building. As you can see, it's really awesome. You should definitely go check it out. Um, on top, you might have already seen Oros with the rainbow on top. It's also very pretty. It has great modern exhibitions. Um, and in Gosvan, there are a lot of cultural events that you can join. Um, movie screenings, then last year there was an international festival where they had uh, presented different cultures and different foods from different countries, so it's, it's very nice. And they have, yeah, all kinds of activities. Do you want to add on that? Um, that that's all good, but it's just that you can also um, sign up for a, a Danish language class, which is offered for free um, for now. So. Uh, I am just a bit actually sign up for the class, it's a Le Downs, um, and they can provide you with all the material and uh, there's a local teacher who teach you the Danish. Um, even though the language is not that popular around the world, but it's always good for you to get to know the, uh, about the language so that you can actually get to know more about the local culture, which is always beneficial for an, anti uh, an international student. And here you can see some examples of the surroundings of Aarhus. You have beaches that you can go for a walk or even swim if you're cou um, courageous. And um, there's a forest with deers uh, that you can feed and it's very nice also. If the, if the weather is nice and you want to go outside, there's a lot to do. And then probably one more practical thing is about the housing. If you consider studying here in the in the um, autumn, you should definitely sign up right now for the student housing because it's very hard and very competitive to find um, accommodation in Aarhus. Um, and so, if you get a spot in, a, in the student housing, that is that is not a bad thing. And the, the longer you are in in, in that um, sign up thing, the more likely it gets that you get a accommodation. And I really recommend doing that because. If you're looking on the open um, accommodation market, it's really hard. Um, yeah, these are some examples of student housing on the right and in the middle. And then on the left, you can see the startup housing is for those people who didn't sign up early enough and who didn't find an accommodation. And as you can see, it's like some um, vans or caravans, how do you call it? Yeah. Um, so this is like really a temporary solution, not great. So I really encourage you, even if you didn't decide yet, just sign up in that housing, um, student housing platform to get the month credited and then get an accommodation early, early enough. Yeah. Um, I also encourage you, uh, when you go into the Aarhus University website, there's a tab about student housing, uh, and I do encourage you to have a look at that. They have all the guidance, advice over there and different a website, different portal, um, different places for you to look for the house. Um, the website or the system that Josephine actually mentioned, which is Student Housing Aarhus, that is an online system where you put in your name and when do you want to move in. So you register over there and then they, they will put you in the waiting list for the student housing. So that's normally is the most economic, uh, affordable housing that you can have. And also other than that, they have a private market that students can sublet, like for example, some students go for exchange program, they can sublet their own rooms and you can rent the room from there as well. Or some local uh, people, they rent out their house. So but you it's can also, very hard yeah. to find something yeah. there. Like really sign up just as a backup plan, sign up on that website and get the month credited because yeah. otherwise it's going to probably be hard yeah. <laughs> as, as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so um, that was just a picture we were saying that before and now. So before coming here, I was a little bit blur. I don't know what to do. And even though I study abroad, I stay abroad very long time before coming here. For me, coming all the way from Asia to here, that's a big move. And I myself very um, was very worried. And I think Josephine as well, even though she's from Germany, we still don't know like, how to do and. You know, like all the rumors about the dance, the clothes, and the uh, cold weather, long winter, dark, and everything just come into our mind, and we were so worried. But when we come over here, and was surprisingly none of the ru not say none, but I seen a lot of rumors um, become not necessarily true all the time. It all depends on you, how you interact with people, how you get to know other people, how you learn from other people, and how you make friends, and that's. That's how we are now. We have a very good time here, make a lot of new friends. And um, if uh, don't worry about the culture shock because if an Asian like me can handle it very well, I doubt if you guys have any problem. Yeah, and I think there are really a lot of possibilities and opportunities to kind of find a network and find a web of people that you can rely on and how you can make the time here very nice. And there are a lot of activities and things to do and it's, that is very nice really. You can learn a lot and make a lot of new friends. And actually even for me as a German, I thought it was not going to be that different culturally, but actually it's very different. You can really learn a lot also from the cultural differences. So yeah, it's definitely a, a great, I, I'm very happy about the choice to come yeah. here. For me, I would never regret. Yeah. So. If you have any questions, please go ahead and ask us. <laughs>